In this video, I will tell you how to add a search engine here. Okay, this video is very similar to this video, how to create a search engine for Django website. But in this video, I will create a search engine for the story website. When any user search for any story or any word containing this story, then the results will available. So at first create a form for the search option here. So just go to the storylist.html and create a form. Here is the all story. So just create a form here. So type form tag. So add a class form in line. Now create a div tag and add a class form group margin button 2 this is simple bootstrap class now copy it and cut it and paste here now create a another div class again the class name is form group this is for the margin and margin bottom 2 ok so now create a label for the search and name of the label is search add a class and name of the class is sr only this is a bootstrap class don't worry about it you can copy from the bootstrap so now type a input tag for the search and this is the important and inside the input tag name attribute is very important because I will use it in the search function. So now add a class. The name of class is form control. And now type a submit button. So the type of the button is submit and add a class btn btn success this is a bootstrap class and btn large ok so name of the button is search so now save it and run the server refresh the page so you can see the search input has been added here so now method of this form will be get so type method is get type in small character okay type action action is the url of the function so action is percent percent url and url of the function is story search okay so go to the urls.py here i will add a path for the story search and the app name is story so go to the storylist.html here type the app name is t o r y story ok so now create a path for the story search function remember story search is the name of the url so go to urls.py and create a path for the search function so name it search and then type the name of the function views dot search story i will create in views dot pi and name of the url is so go to the story list dot html and name of the url is story search so just copy it and paste here this is the name of the url story search okay so now go to views.py and create a function search story. So just copy it and go to views.py and create a function search story. Okay. So pass the argument request. At first create a variable query. Query equal none at first. So now create a variable results. Results is empty list at first okay so now add if request dot method is get 
you can add it or not it's your choice but i add here so if request dot method is equal to gate remember this is in capital okay so if the method is gate then the query variable will change so query equal request dot gate dot gate okay so this is the method gate and type the name of the input tag so go to the story list dot html in the search form here in the input tag add a name attribute so here type a name so just a c a r c h search so copy this name and go to and go to views dot py and paste here just i want grab the query by the get method you can use post method but here for the search i just use get method now if the query exists then the result variable will change so r e s u l t result equal story this is the model of the story story dot objects obj e c t s objects dot filter so now i just want to filter the all story based on the query so at first you have to import the queue from django dot db dot models so from django dot db dot models import queue okay so now i use queue here so type story dot objects dot filter and type queue and type title title is the field in the story so go to the models dot py here title body description are the fields so i use title and the description for the search you can also use body so just go to views dot py here type title title underscore underscore i contents means if your query is in the title then the story filter by the title okay so title underscore underscore i contents equal query so now i want to add query for the body field so just type the same so q at first and then type body underscore underscore i contents equal query so now return and render to the search html so type return and render and at first type request as usual and then the and then type path of the template the the template name is story search html or search dot html so this is inside the story folder so s t o r y story slash search dot html okay so now pass the django variable query and the results okay so q u e r y query is query and pass another django variable is result now save it and go to the templates and go to the story and create here a html file search.html okay at first you have to extend the base html so just i copy this and here add a title please so just add a title storybook so now copy this and paste here and change the title search story now end the body block now type a container class okay so now type this is the search page so now type the logic if query exists so start a if block if u u e r y if query exists 
means go to the views.py so if query exists then the result number will show at first type of with block with results.count results is a variable and results.count is the number of total result as total result so total results refers to the total number of result ok so now type found total number of results so just type total total underscore result now end the with tag so just type end with so now create a for loop for the result so results is the variable in the search story function ok so just go to story list and I just copy the for loop of the story so I just copy it and go to the search.html paste inside the for loop so just in the for tag so type end for loop ok and when any user click on the title then user will go to the detail page of the story this is the loop for the search results now type another condition if loop is empty means there is no search query so just type emptyempty empty. so then then type there is no query and and now you have to end the if block but create a else block for that at first this else block is for this query block now type the end if inside the else block type error in your query now save it and run the server go to the browser and run the local host now search for a story i just search for this story so just copy the title of the story and paste here okay so you will see an error the, actually this is not an error so go to the urls.py add a slash here sometimes it may not work for this okay add a right path okay now it will work so just refresh it and search for the story and you can see this found one results okay here is search story let fix this this is the title of the page so go to the search.html and add here title tag go to the story list and also add here title tag now save it go to the views.py I search for the field title and the body you can add the description field go to the models so des is the field so you can add now I just want to search for the title or body ok so now replace it so go to any story and I just copy a sentence here ok so now search for this ok so found one result because this sentence is content in the body of the story ok if you search for none like just search so you will see an error this is search page and error in your query so you can change it so go to search.html and here in the else block type please search for a right query and also type you do not write any query ok now save it now refresh the page and just search so please search for a right query you do not write any query so you can search for any story like the happy prince so just search for this word so just paste here and ok 
so this sentence is in the happy friends story so this is for the i content if here you include the contents that then it will not work okay remember it so you can search for any story search by the title field and the body field you can also add the description field okay thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in next video